friends, I'm coming to you today to show you this little golden book journal that I made. It was so much fun. I love it. I love this book. Eloise Wilkin is the illustrator. I don't know. I just love her so much. She, her work is so beautiful. Plus, my last name is Wilkin, so we're kind of sisters, aren't we? But this is Connie from I Love Pretty Papers. You can find me on Etsy. Um, this book is going into my Etsy shop. It was so much fun to do. For the closure, I just did a little girl's hair headband. And so you can, if you're giving this like as a gift, or you're getting it for your little girl, or you're just getting it for yourself. Anyways, here's a headband that somebody could wear. And I'm gonna put this headband in too so that if they do want to get you do want to give that as a gift to give somebody to have in their little girl's hair you can then use this closure right here so this book it has a two inch spine and I have put these cute buttons on it and the gingham material that I found that was so cute and the Rick Rack so this book is pretty old it was only 49 cents um, as we open it up, there's nothing written on here, so you can write their name right here. It's got lots of lace, and I have sewn um, some items also, so it was super fun. So here's the front cover, and here's the cover. Let me tell you what year it was. It was 1976. First done in 1968 but just a beautiful book about this little girl and her doll. So to start with, um, I saw somebody do this. Oh, I'm gonna forget her name. Is it Turquoise Dreams or something like this? I saw that she did this in the front of one of her books and I loved it. So I decided, she made it as a pocket. I decided to make it as a pocket and a tuck spot. And I made this little, um, Dick and Jane tag. It's got uh, Jane and Sally and their dog Spot trying to get a bath. So I've got this here in the front. Then I, I just stenciled some paper to make just a little card, a little journeying spot to write on. That was fun. Um, so I found this, um, in, I found this stencil book in a thrift store and I thought that was really cute to have. It's got lots of flowers and things on it. So I've got that throughout the book. And I've got lots of pretty papers, lots of journaling spots. You can write something here. This was the most fun. I did some tags with uh, dolls, uh, paper dolls on it and their clothes and a button and ribbon and so I made a little tag here with this gingham ribbon. And then I got a little rabbit here, paper clip to hold it in. Then I've just got a little pocket here with some journaling things to write in. I found this cute doily on Etsy somewhere, but it's it's got floral printed on it. And I thought it matched this pretty good. This is a Anna Griffin paper. And I've got a little tuck spot right here made from this, this flower thing. Um, then I had this children's book and it was it's kind of interesting to read. Um, it's got like children's games and things like that and menus for picnics and parties and things like that so that's kind of fun. There's a 4th of July thing right here which today's the 5th of July so that's kind of fun. Um, here's another just talk um, tea dyed paper that I stenciled. I've got several postcards, old postcards. I made this pocket and sewed it in. So this one, I, it's really old. It's got one cent stamp. And it's, I can't tell what year. That's the hard part because it's not printed down here, but it's super old. It says happy birthday on it. I thought that would be pretty in there got this gingham to match this gingham. That was fun. This would be a great place to put pictures. Then 
this book is beautiful. I love it. It's um, it all is intact and it is in order. So I've used some books from children's readers um, that I found. I thought this was adorable, and I sewed that in. And then I've made a little um, tag or journaling spot right here with Beatrix Potter, and it says, "You always gain by giving love." I have a little collaged um, Tim Holtz little tag that I made. These girls are really super cute. Got lots of pockets and tuck spots for all kinds of things. You know, when your kids are, even if it's for you, this could be really for anybody, but if it's for a kid, all their, you know, piano recital programs or school plays or even like immunization cards or something like that to keep all their stuff together. Got this really pretty paper. This is a fun sheet right here. Here's a bag right here, floral bag. You can put stuff in. I've got a little file folder right here that I made. You can write inside there and I've got this cute little bird um, paper clip. And look at this, isn't that beautiful? Wow, she did such a good job. And I love that little white picket fence. Just, I want to live right there. Here's some vellum. This is fun. This has flowers all over it. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's really pretty. And here's from a children's book um, of music. And tea dyeing that I did. And I made some little journaling cards and I just put some little lace on it. So you can write all kinds of things on there. Put some more lace. This is the center of the signature. I thought it'd be a great place to put pictures and here's some little buttons right here. Just got some little file cards here. More of the music and the flowers. This is so cute. She's looking down at this little caterpillar. Her poor doll's all upside down. And I've made also, these could be journaling cards or I thought it'd be a good mat to put pictures on. And I've got a little scripture card that was pretty and floral. And then I made this little tuck spot. This is Sally from Dick and Jane and she's dumping out all her little farm toys playing. I thought that was cute. I thought that would go with this page over here. This is one of my favorite pages. Um, I just made a little library card and then I turned it into a tuck spot here. But this is from another Eloise Wilkin um, book. I think it's from my little book about God. But there's a cute little mom and kids and got buttons and and book pages and music and all kinds of things and lace and this is kind of furry so it's kind of fun and then in here I have this envelope and here I have a little bag I don't know what kind you call it it's on the tip of my tongue it's kind of meshy but it's called something else starts with a G can't remember um, but it's, I thought it'd be a good spot. So if this is for a child, they could, when they got their first haircut, you could put a little lock of hair in here and then keep it safe in this envelope. And then when they're older, they can see what color their hair was when they were little. Because our hair color does change, doesn't it? Okay, and just some more pretty papers. And over here I have a lace belly band and this is from a children's book, so pretty. And so I made a journaling card out of that and here's a journaling card I made also. More tea dyed and the party stuff and the stenciling. I made a little Dick and Jane little top tuck spot right here with a flash card. Looks like they're going on a picnic. They got boats. Of course, they got the teddy bear. More Anna Griffin. Here's just a color, a couple of 
journaling spots right here. This pretty paper. Stenciling. Here's a really cute illustration again of her and her doll. It was ripping a little bit right here, so I decided to just put a little butterfly there and a little flower here so that it wouldn't rip anymore since it's pretty old. I love this illustration here and this one of course. This is in the from the book, my little book about God. I couldn't save the outside of that book so I saved the inside and I just sewed a little journaling spot. Here's a little arrow paper clip and that's the first um, signature and here's the second signature. Look at this pretty paper. Oh my gosh, I love it. So many pretty papers. Made a little tuck spot on this journaling card. I put some rickrack. Then here I made a tall pocket and here I made a journaling card. I stenciled it again, sewed it, put this pretty, these cute little flowers right here on the top. Then over here, I have this kind of like a fabric flip, but it's sewn into a pocket. And so this little postcard can come in here. Doesn't tell us the year, but it's really old. And it must have been cards that they gave out at church. Oh, well, this is copyright 1906. I don't know if that's the, must be the painting, but. Anyways, it says some kind of postcard will be given next Sunday. So maybe you went to church so that you could get free postcards. I don't know. It's kind of fun. And then when I put this back in here, I feel like I'm tucking the little girl into her bed or something. This looks like a blanket. So that's fun. Then here I made a little Dick and Jane journaling card right here. Some fun vellum. Some pink and yellow polka dots. A song, Ida Sweet as Apple Cider. And then, oh, I love this page. Look at this wallpaper back here. So pretty. Here's some little paper. This one says, you'll never know how much, dear, how much I love you. Here's another postcard. Uh, meet me at Yarmouth Waiting Room. And I don't get this. It says, on car at something. I don't know what on car means. Maybe somebody else does, but it hasn't been, it has not been used. But it is old. Kind of match this pretty paper. And I made a little tuck spot here from a nature book that I have. And here's another Beatrix Potter. I will love you till the end of time. And a journaling spot. Little kitty. So here's another journaling spot with lace, and I made just a little collage of fabrics on this card. I always forget what this is called. This is called a card guide that I just ordered on Amazon, and it's really quite substantial. It's nice. So I just kind of patchworked it right there, and this with lace, children's book. Again, here's another tuck spot, nature book, botanical book I had. And I just made a little tag with Rick Rack here for another journaling spot. Here's the center, which I love so much. And here's two little buttons on the ends here where I tied it in. So pretty. And here's, uh, I got this on Etsy, I don't remember who from, but so pretty, cute little children gathering flowers. And I'll, I put it on some cardstock so you can journal on that. Here's Kool Aid dyed paper that I did. Here's G is for girl. And I found this happy birthday postcard. This one is from 1911. So this one's pretty old. But it must have been kept pretty well. It's in pretty good shape. So, and this is a tuck spot, and this is a tuck spot. Then I just made a little journaling spot here. 
put a picture there and journal here or just write in it. Tucks back in right here with some lace. I love, love this paper. Here she is, so cute. And here's a little cute embossed doily. This right here ended up being my favorite page. This is so fun because the colors, you know, when something just goes together, it's like I just had things off to the side and just grabbed everything. And at first I had, I just had this and it was pretty stark white. So I knew it needed something else. I did make this little library card and I made it into a tuck spot. It's got the little girl. This is from the book, um, my little book about God. And just a little collage thing here with lace and paper. And here's an old sheet. And here's a tag in here. Then when I first took this off of my desk, it was on this side. And I thought, well, that, that goes okay. I mean, it's the same colors or hair and stuff. Then I took it out once and then I noticed, oh, yeah, look at the back. And then I put that in and it was like, oh, yeah. And then a fun bingo card. So, favorite page. Love it. And all this worked out together. Love it when that happens. Then I've got another either journaling spot or a photo mat. Made a little tuck spot for it there. Cute little doggy. Then all the animals here and another, the other part of the song. Then here's the vellum. Then I made a little um, belly band here. This looks like um, flower seed packets, I think. And then I've got these, just some little journaling spots here and these cute little bags. And this one's really cute. I think that's so pretty. All right, on those. Some more animals. Here's a little top tuck spot. love this one. I just love that the wallpaper in that room. I just love that little house. And here um, is from our little reader I have. I made a little pocket and sewed it. And then I made this little tag from a children's book. Right write on the back of that one. Thought that went well together. Then here's the stenciling page again. Then in the back, I have a cute Tim Holtz little collage tag that's fun. And a little flashcard with the ABCs and another little journaling spot with lace. And back here in this little pocket that I sewed. So this book was so much fun. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to make another one. I am making another one. <laughs> I've already started. Um, one of them so it's just so fun and chunky and I love all the pretty papers and all the pretty lace and it was so fun so just thought I would share that today hope that you liked it um, this is for sale in my Etsy store you can find me at I love pretty papers and I will link um, it down below so thanks for watching